Hey, Shelley, as many countries, including the U.S., start imposing travel restrictions because of those Omicron cases, local doctors here at Loveless Hospital say the best way to protect yourself is to do things we already know how to do, like wearing our masks, socially distance, and constantly washing our hands. New and changing variants are normal. This is expected. We know the virus mutates. In fact, um, the scientists have been looking at all of the mutations all the way through this course, trying to find which mutations are important and how much the vaccine covers those mutations. As of right now, there's not enough information about the new variant to determine how powerful it is. But Dr. Sandoval says vaccines are still the best tool of protection. We don't know exactly how much at this point, but we know it's still going to provide protection and it still protects us against the Delta variant, which is here right now. The good news is that scientists will be able to change vaccines if necessary. We know that with the MRA vaccines, they can change those vaccines relatively quickly if they need to. Because vaccine protection wears off after six months, she says it's even more important to get a booster. We want to keep our immunity as high as we possibly can by getting that booster. And keep in mind from the time you get the booster, it takes about two to three weeks for your immune system to pick up. Doctors here at Loveless Hospital tell me that uh, most of the people that are in the hospital hospitalized and in the ICU continue to be unvaccinated people against COVID. Reporting in Albuquerque, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News.